Oh, good uh, morning, should I say. It's uh, morning here, almost afternoon. This is uh, Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets for Friday's trading session, or NFP Day, the 2nd of December 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so <clears throat> we're taking our cue from Asia. Certainly is weak with the Nikkei and the Hang Seng and the Shanghai down overnight. Uh, European markets certainly trailing as well at present. You have the European markets all suffering losses. The FTSE down almost 60 points. The DAX down in excess, or almost in excess of 100 points. The CAC down 60. And the uh, the stock 600 certainly under pressure as well. So let's see exactly where the uh, US markets finished yesterday. And let's see exactly where we stand. Economic data-wise, nothing really major overnight. Okay. No real game changer, uh, so to speak. Uh, the only uh, real concern at the moment is the uh, obviously Italian referendum going into the weekend, and it'll be interesting to see how the markets react there. Uh, in terms of US data yesterday, construction certainly uh, construction spending stronger, ISM prices paid came in slightly stronger, I, uh, manufacturing PMI came in stronger. Uh, overall, net net uh, economic data was okay, although jobless claims and job seekers certainly came in stronger as well, so that was really the only downside. Australian retail saved stronger overnight, uh, but we had the GDP data from Switzerland this morning certainly weaker. The PMI data from the UK certainly stronger. Uh, inflation in the Eurozone picking up, so therefore signifying more growth, although that does mean a stronger Euro. So you are looking at a potential risk aversion trade there as well. So just bear that in mind. Okay, now in terms of the uh, US markets, let's see exactly where we finish. Now let's bring up the, uh, the NASDAQ first because NASDAQ was the main culprit certainly flushing very hard down to that fib 75 percent we have had a pivot low of 4705 this morning on the nasdaq so again certainly bearish having said that though the 60 minute chart does have an unfilled gap at 4702 and we have support at uh, 4660 4680 4690 as well so bear that in mind okay so again that will be a good support zone in order for the market to start to bounce so from okay so Certainly a zone that we're looking to move higher. In terms of the uh, the actual, um, uh, shall we say, semiconductors. Semiconductors certainly hit hard yesterday. Very, very hard. Okay, as you can see here, uh, an impressive flush from the pivot low to high. We've uh, flushed almost 75%. If the semiconductors continue to flush, then you do have support below. So just bear that in mind. 60-minute chart, semiconductors, you have actually closed the gap here. So you are looking for an argument to... Uh, to potentially pop okay so just bear that in mind certainly a strong argument for a potential move higher okay so uh, certainly looking for a move and support zone in this in this area okay so gap fill support and then we have multiple supports below and therefore that would lead me to a bias of being bullish on the nasdaq the biotech certainly flushing although you do have gap fill below so just bear that in mind certainly still remain weak uh, then it's gap fill here okay previous resistance equals support here so again, certainly an area or a zone where you would actually attempt to go long. So it's bear that in mind, okay, in terms of the uh, the actual uh, NAT of biotechs, okay. So looking for a move higher, okay. So again, Nasdaq conclusion. From my understanding, the area or zone at 4700, 4690 is a buy zone, and I'll be looking to potentially go long. Now let's bring up the Dow Jones. Dow Jones, no real concern, even with the topping tail the day before, we still continue to push higher. No real uh, sign of a reversal. 60-minute chart still remains afloat. And remains bullish and therefore bias remains strong um, the uh, transportation index really has taken out resistance and even with oil prices going higher certainly still has uh, hasn't flinched and therefore you are looking at the next resistance being nine to ten so i'm certainly looking for a pop or a bounce here on the uh, dow transport so no real sign or warning sign from there from there let's bring up the russell now russell 2000 certainly has broken out of that bullish channel certainly has flushed ever since uh, in terms of support, you have horizontal support here and here. So this is the key zone. You have the gap fill support just below. So watch out for that zone. Daily chart really still remains bullish, although there is an unfilled gap or two unfilled gaps below. That certainly market is vulnerable to. But having said that, towards the close, we did have a, a good volume bounce. Okay, with good volume. And therefore, one would argue that you are looking for a pop. Uh, going into the uh, Friday's trading session. So from my understanding here, you can see that you had this falling contracting wedge pattern we've broken out 
and my bias would certainly be bullish going into Friday okay looking for a move higher let's just cross reference that with the S&P 500 let's see exactly where we are same concept here S&P 500 finding support around previous resistance equal support 2188 okay so again looking for a pop if if we continue to uh, move lower then the, uh, the Nasdaq does have gap fill support at 21.82. So just bear that in mind, 21.82 equals gap fill support. So certainly looking for a move and a pop higher there. Okay, so just bear that in mind. 21.82 on the, uh, the actual S&P 500. The daily chart of the S&P 500 is again, good volume on the sell side. If we do flush, then 21.80. Is a zone that I'll be looking to go along. So 2182 gap fill, 2180 previous resistance equal support. Ideal opportunity for me to certainly get my uh, long positions in. So if you've missed a rally, this is a good time. Now this zone here also is important. 2190 on the daily chart. So we may we may not go visit that 2180 zone. So just bear that in mind. Okay, bear that in mind. Although having said that, it is NFP, so expect volatility on either way, on either side. Okay. So I've covered the Russell. Russell looks prime for a potential bounce or a pop. The S&P uh, prime for a potential bounce and a pop. The Nasdaq prime for a potential bounce and a pop. So everything really is concluding that we are looking to potentially move higher from my understanding and my interpretation anyway. Okay, now in terms of USDJPY at the moment, USDJPY certainly is coming into potential double bottom support uh, after having put in a potential double top. So again, that's another argument for the, uh, the actual S&P 500 to move higher. On the back of this SM USDJPY USDJPY move now the Shanghai at the moment still stalling three red bars in a row still stalling in terms of Nikkei let's bring up a Nikkei for you as well certainly stalling topping tail certainly looking weak okay and so certainly bringing into question that potential gap fill zone okay let's just quickly look at the dollar index for you as well dollar index looking to potentially move higher here okay so again, looking for a pop <clears throat> on the dollar index, which in turn should help actual equity, uh, US equities to a large extent. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so um, that certainly seems to be a situation, obviously with oil prices still continuing their march higher at the moment. You you are, you are do have turbulence here around this 51, 52 level. If you break that, then looking at 52.7, and the next level is currently going to be uh, 55. Point two, okay so that's a zone that we find ourselves in on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com ah sorry just before i go let me explain the vix for you vix is very important for those of you that use a vix i think this is quite important to share just before i wrap this video there we go okay so the vix so where are we in terms of the VIX? Okay, so daily chart of the VIX, an impressive thrust higher. Okay, uh, if we do continue to move higher, then that's your level of resistance. Previous support equals resistance. Looking at the smaller time frame now, looking at 60 minute chart, certainly seems to have pushed higher. Okay, closer gap. Okay, so that certainly is the situation that we find ourselves in. So certainly pushed higher, closer gap. And now looking for resistance. So any any uh, zone around the 24.6, you are looking for the VIX to pull back, and that should obviously help the uh, equity markets move higher. Okay, so that's uh, that's a good summation. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that bonus.